In this video, we are going to learn how to find the log of any base using a Cassie calculator. Also, we learn to find the anti-log of any base using a Cassie calculator. And lastly, we are going to learn to solve logarithmic equations with a Cassie calculator. So, ensure you stay to the very end of this video because I am going to be saying a lot of things. Now, this video is a continuation of my first video on how to find logarithm with the Cassie calculator. If you have not watched that video, I am going to leave the link to the video in the description of this video below. So, check the description. On this video, you see the link to my video on how to solve logarithm with the Casio calculator. The first video, in short, to watch it, you also learn a lot. Now, as having known that, let's get the Casio calculator and go into the details of this video. Okay, so this is Casio FS, another one, ES Plus calculator or Casio FS 570 ES Plus calculator. Now, the very first thing you have to do is to put your calculator in default mode to clear it. All right. The essence of doing it is to reset the calculator and put it in default mode to wipe out whatever previous value might have stored on it. So, to clear for those of you that don't know how to do it, simply press Shift button 9 for the instruction. Want to clear or press 3. All right, then press equal to which means yes, press equal to again or AC button 1. All right, now we have cleared it, it's now in default mode. Let's begin solving this problem. Let me question why it says log 16, the base is 1 over 2. All right. Since the base is not in base 10, had even the base is in base 10, we have made use of this log. Well, since it's in a different base, not in base 10, to the right button or function to use this button, all right, this log, the base is what? Base 1 over 2, all right? Then we have the log to be 16, log 16. That's all. Press support 2, minus 40, k the anti-log, press shift this log for when the log is in base 10 so log anti-log is log inverse or inverse of log right so press shift that button then minus four so this is the anti-log if you want to put it in standard form press sd button all right so that's it for that problem for question two log three four three okay so the base is base 49 all right, we have log 3, 4, 3, and that's the press report too. The answer is what? 3 over 2 to put it in decimal, press SD, 1.5, define anti-log, shift this log, all right, anti-log of 1.5. So this is the anti-log. Now for question 3 is in fraction, make it of this fraction button. So the log is in base 10. When they don't specify the base will log know that is automatically in base 10 all right so we're going to make use of this one so we have log 7 close the bracket guys very important always close the brackets all right minus log 3 all right over we have log 3 close the brackets all right minus log seven then close the brackets so that's all let's press the quotes now and get the an answer minus one it's as simple as that guys to get the anti-log press shift this log button minus one press record two so this is the anti-log let's solve question four so the log is in base three this time around make use of this is in fraction so we have log the base is three so go this side and put six right then minus we have log the base is three go this side and put now log three over we have log three all right go this side and put eight okay minus we have three log half the base is three all right, so bring out the half, make use of this fashion button, one over two. All right, always close your bracket, guys, very important, so that you will not end up having mass error. So let's press the button and get our results, one over six. So it's as simple as that, guys. To so get the anti log of it, you just press shift this log button, anti log of one over six. All right, press the button. So this is anti-log, as simple as that, guys. Now let's solve question five. So question five is 
log 49 oh, I so the base is 7 not in base 10 so we have log 49 okay plus log the base is still 7 okay 1 over 7 and that's the press equal to 1 to get down to log press shift this log then impute one it will display so finally we are in question six it says find okay we have to find the log 27 the base is x equals 2 over 2 so this is log rhythmic equation how do you solve this problem <laughs> all right very simple i'm going to explain for you guys now so let's impute the log so we have log the base is unknown alpha x okay then we have 27 log 27 now so bring out the quality sign don't go and press this equal to it will show you center so let me show you see center seven how do you bring out the quality sign very simple press alpha and this card to commands now we have done this let's impute what we have there after the quality sign which is three over two okay now once you are done imputing this value don't go and press equal to again it will show you center seven okay don't do it so what are you going to press very, very simple this time around press you, you have to assign a value to x to solve this problem so you, you press shift cap and when you get here you assign your x a value i recommend zero or one but let's work with zero let's assign x to be zero then press equal to so if you solve it now there's some calculators when you assign x to be zero the calculator will display that and also be so in some situation no need to panic just go back and assign your x to be one and it will solve it so in this case this calculator solve it with zero when you assign it to be zero so let me show you let's go back and assign our x to be one all right so let's push shift to cap let's assign x to be one it will get the same results you still get nine Right, so when you get to the same sort of situation, just assign s to be one, right? And you'll be good to go. So it's as simple as that, guys. So let's wait for the answer to come out. We are still going to get nine. Alright, so the answer is still be nine. It's as simple as that, guys. So you see, nine. We still got the answer to be nine. Alright, so let's solve question seven now. Question seven says, alright, we have log the base is x alpha x right help it to one then equal to press alpha cac four okay so let's assign our x a number shift cac let's assign to be zero since it's working with zero press equal to if you display the answer Alright, so solving it. Very, very simple, guys. Okay, so the answer is what? Okay, last list of question 8. So we have it to be log. The base is 4. So x is here. Record request alpha cac. Then impute what you have there, which is 5 over 2. Alright, let's assign our x to be. A number which is zero press shift cac let's assign to be zero press equal to and to solve it so that is two so that is basically you can find the log of any base find the log of any base solve log little bit equation the classic calculator and with this you'll come to the end of the class so we learn something interesting if you are new to the channel ensure to subscribe to stay connected to it also so like share and comment on this video to tell me how you feel from what you have then for this class, if you seem to have any specific questions to ask, feel free to put your question in the comment section below and I'll be sure to give you a response. That's for this guy. Thanks for watching.